Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you a life purpose and career reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini for the mid-month of June year 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. I'm sending you love and light. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, or subscriber, I'm sending so much joy, prayers, happiness, and peace, love and light, and blessings. Always welcome, welcome back. And if you are a cross watcher, please come in and join us. I'm sending you so many blessings as well for all of us. Okay, if you don't know, I'm not big on signs. I like to focus on you, Gemini, but if your reading correlates with one of my other Zodiac readings that I've already posted, I will refer you to watch it. It's up to you. Use your own discernment at all times. Please remember that with Oracle and Tarot cards, it's all about the energy. It's all about the messages. Focus on that. Never, ever force a reading. If it's not for you, it's okay. There's incredible readers. Your next reading could be your best one. Always do what you feel is best, but never ever force. But in, you can flip flop and search yourself wherever you fit. Get in where you fit in. Okay. I will not be doing reversals in this reading. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys, my channel is growing and it's because of you. I thank you so much. So please continue that. I do have PayPal and a PO box listed in the description box below. If you're interested in leaving a generous donation, thank you for all your energetic donations through your likes all your beautiful, wonderful support and comments. I do read them. I do appreciate them. You guys make me smile. So thank you so much. I will let you know when I open back up life coaching personals, yeah, life coaching, yeah, personals and um, personal readings. I'll let you know. I'll keep you guys in the know. I'll keep you posted. Hopefully soon. It's just I'm getting a lot done right now and I'm on go, but I will get back to that. I do um, enjoy those and miss those. Okay. I'll get back to them when the time is right. Okay. Let's, oh yeah, one more thing, you guys. I have included an extended in this reading. There is an extended Oracle mid-month June reading for you guys. So if you guys want to purchase that, it's $3.43 below. You'll see it. All you have to do is um, click on the link. All the information is there. It's easy. Okay? Easy peasy. So get in where you fit in. I hope you guys enjoy them. And let's begin your reading. Of course, I pray and meditate over everything before I start. I'll be using three decks. We're starting with the life purpose deck, then we will use clarifiers. If you guys don't know, I don't usually do clarifiers, especially for my A1 day ones who've been here. I don't usually clarify. So I am inclined to do that. I have come up with this formation myself. I will be clarifying the life purpose deck messages with my spirituality deck and the silver moon oracle card deck. My deck is, um, it's like golden and you know, has more colors and the silver moon oracle card deck is, it has some colors, but the back side is black and it has like moons and stuff. Okay. If you're interested, all the decks are listed below and spirit, please come through as you always do. Let's begin. So let's talk about life purpose. Your life purpose is what you feel God sent you to this world to do. Okay. And you can express it, employ it in very different ways. Okay. Not just on the job, but it's a soul calling that you do just in your life. Okay. Some of you will just do this, you know, for fun, or you'll just do it because you're called to do it, whether it makes you money or not. You know, it's something that you enjoy. A lot of readers do these readings because they're called to do it. It's a part of their life purpose and they do. It. And I feel like we can have more than one calling and there's different times in our lives where we may express that calling, but it's in you. It's innate. Okay. And God always can add on and change things, but there's some things that are in you. Like I'll take myself for an example. I am a natural born teacher. I had a lot of professors and teachers express that they did. They, I mean, they expressed it a lot. So, you know, that's a compliment to me, especially when I look up to other people and they love my work and I love their work. It's just, it makes things, um, it's just, it, it makes things more tangible for me. Okay. It's more believable. And, um, you know, it helps with confidence when people do believe in you because they see something great in you, even if you don't see it in yourself. I always felt it, but um, I've done it in very ways. I've taught, I'm, I feel like I'm teaching now through being a life coach. I'm teaching now through tarot and oracle cards. I'm still doing it, but in a different way. I'm not in the classroom anymore. I'm not online teaching my college students or my elementary, middle and high school students, or, you know, I, I've done tutoring. I've So I'm doing it in a different way, but I can always fluctuate and go back and switch it up and do it in so many different ways online or through the computer or on the phone. There's so many different ways to express yourself, but it's your calling. And if you don't know what that is and you're confused about it, pay attention to all the compliments you received growing up. 
pay attention to what makes you happy and lights up your face and talk to God in spirit. I always talk to God about what I can do. Another part of my life purpose is um, if I wanted to, spirit, let me know that I could be a marital counselor. So I have my degrees and in life, everything connects. So even if you have a degree in something and it doesn't connect to your purpose, when God ordains you to do something, that's meant for you to do. Okay, Gemini. So let's begin your reading, just some background information. And um, yeah, so let's begin. So I've pulled out um, three messages and then I took the one on the bottom because the bottom message represents the overall energy. I will read your cards intuitively from the cards and from the book. I want you, want you to have a very well-rounded life, purpose, and career reading. Okay, so the first card that came out is flowers. It says, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. This is beautiful. I love flowers. As you guys can see, when I do my readings, I always have flowers. Some are real, some are fake. This, is, this These are not real, but they're really pretty. I love the color and I'm drawn to them. And I notice I, I get compliments about having them. It's just, it makes people want to look, you know, at the scenery, you know, it lifts vibrations. And I feel like you either need to go out and purchase yourself some flowers, go out to the store, smell some flowers, grow some flowers, you know, grow some roses, a garden and get some really exotic seeds or, you know, some with some really pretty colors or start a garden or something. You need to be around plants and flowers. They do really uplift where you are and of course we know trees and plants give us oxygen so some of you may be a florist or you may work in a store or in a place where you're around beautiful sceneries or flowers it does lift your spirits when you see something really pretty and it's pleasant okay and I feel like that's what a lot of my readers get readers readers reviewers watchers subscribers you guys see the flowers and I feel like it's inviting that's what people have told me and I feel like this is good it makes me feel good it makes me happy it's pleasant and I keep flowers like in my room and I always buy some for myself people bring me some and buy me some but I always make sure I buy some for myself and for you guys for this channel too they're just very uplifting and they make me smile and they make me feel good and that's what I hope for you guys okay so yeah definitely get out there and if you want to be a florist or you want to work somewhere where you work with you know, animals and plants and you build community gardens or something like that, get up and do it. Absolutely. Okay. So let's get to the next one and I'll read from the book. Um, afterwards, I'll go back. I just want to read intuitively first. And I love that this is here. You guys have the teaching card. It says you inspire young people to learn. A lot of you would be great elementary kindergarten, um, head start teachers and preschool teachers in, Kids are sponges. They love to learn. They love things that's exciting. Incorporate as many fun things that you can into the environment. The main thing kids need is somebody that cares. The main thing that they need, even if it's teenagers, even if it's teaching adults, just being a teacher is part of your life purpose. You may explain things in a way that maybe somebody may not understand, but the way you do it, so many other people will understand. Like I incorporated differentiation instruction into my lessons when I was teaching online and with all levels. So kids love that because there's kinesthetic learners, hands-on learners, there's audio learners, there's visual learners, there's all types of learners. Some people have, you know, a variety of ways that they, you know, attain information. So you could, they could be sequential and have a balance of various ways that they learn. So it's important to incorporate fun, caring ways, honesty, keep it real with them, and definitely stay in charge. You know, they will respect you when you stay in charge. Of course, you'll always have a few that will try you. Check them at the door, but let them know that I we're going to be organized. I care about you guys. I'm here for you guys. And learning is going to be fun. When you make it a game, it doesn't feel like learning, but it truly is. And that's what I did. Um, so be creative and have fun. Look up Linda Mood Bell. I, for some reason, I can't think of right now the program that I used to use for my students, but they loved it. And it was a way of teaching them so that they can picture things in their mind so that that gave them inspiration to write stories, um, paragraphs, songs, and, and things of that nature. So if it comes to me, um, I will um, let you know what that is. But definitely the creator is Linda Mood Bell. And I actually met with her a long time ago when I was working with, I believe it was middle school students at the time. And they loved 
that type of instruction that she has. So look her up and find out what's going on if you're interested in that. And it's good for all areas. So definitely read books. Read books to your children. You inspire people to want to learn. I'm sorry if you guys hear any construction noises in the background. I try to record when I hear very little noise as possible, but you never know when somebody may start to cut grass or trees or whatever, and I'm starting to hear it. So I will speak up and keep going to the best of my ability. Okay, you guys also have the card here of trust. It says, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. You know, I talk to God. I talk to spirit. I meditate every day. I pray every day. Stay in constant prayer. God will give you peace, guidance, and direction. Your angels are with you. They may whisper something to you. They may just tell you flat out. You may wake up, you know, after praying at night on your knees and wake up with answers and it just came to mind. That is all glory to God. That's all spirit leading you and guiding you. Or you may be directed to a certain feeling or you're pulled a certain way to be a tarot card reader or you're pulled to be a doctor or you're pulled to be a pharmacist or a teacher or whatever you're doing. If you're pulled to do it and, and it feels great to you, jump in and get started and do it. Trust your intuition. Trust your heart and what you've always longed to do. Go back down memory lane and think back to when you were a small child and what you first said that you wanted to be. And some of us have changed many times, okay? For me, I was either going to be a doctor or a teacher or both. So I'm, I'm proud that I got to be a teacher. I love it. I am one degree away from being a, you know, a doctor. If I wanted to, I could technically be a doctor, but I meant a pediatrician. And um, I end up, you know, I, I did start out in the medical field when I was very young and like way back in the day. But, um, you know, I ended up going a different route. You know, I felt like more of my calling and purpose was to teach. And, and I, I never thought about, you know, teaching tarot and oracle cards, but I was always intuitive. I knew I could read people. I used to say it all the time as I was a little child. So sometimes kids will say things and not even fully understand what they're saying, or they do understand, but they don't see the bigger picture even me saying I could read people at a small you know as a small child I never thought I'd do tarot even though I was told I can do this like so many years ago over a decade ago a long time ago by a reader actually so by a, a psychic so trust your feelings listen to your dreams pay attention to things write things down that come to you and listen for guidance from spirit okay talk to God about what you are here to do what your soul purpose and life purpose is and believe me you can have more than one and truly if I wanted to be a doctor in any way or just pursue my PhD, I know I could do it and I know I would do it well, whether it's going back to be a pediatrician or um, if I chose, you know, a different major and still, you know, got that degree. Because if I do pursue another degree, it will be the PhD. It's next and I like to move up and I will be a doctor. But it's up to me. I don't know. Right now, I'm happy doing tarot and oracle cards and I'm loving it. So I'm very content and pleased with this. Okay, but do whatever you guys feel is best. Those were just examples for you guys. So trust your feelings, listen to your thoughts, and you know, put it out into God and, and to the universe. They're always listening, and you co-create with spirit by talking about your goals and manifesting them and putting your plans into action. Always talk to God about your plans and what you want and what you desire. Yes, you can have it. God can go above and beyond what you are asking for, okay? That's the greatness of the Lord. We have a plan, but he sees the bigger picture always. And it's always better when we go his way. Always. You have practice as the overall energy. It says polish your skills by practicing regularly. Whether you use some type of beautiful instrument, it could be your voice. It could be you singing or playing a wonderful instrument, a guitar, a flute. It could be the cello, whatever it is that you do do it well and you have to practice you know even tarot and oracle card readers we didn't just jump in we had to learn our craft we had to pray and meditate we learned by watching each other we learned by reading books we learned by going to seminars and you know getting more information and trying out different techniques coming up with our own formations after we've learned about other formations there are thousands of formations that we can use in our readings we use various decks some of us make our own decks or use pendulums or charms or charm charmies they call them either way there's so many ways to do it you can just channel directly if you want you can come up with your own cards every day or not even use cards or you may just want to use certain words oracle cards some people just use one deck some people use various decks do what you are called to do but you have to practice you know when i'm coming up with different formations i'm looking at my cards 
and I'm looking at new cards. I'm looking at old ones. I'm looking at ones I want to purchase next or the cards that I'm working on, you know, years in advance. And I'm seeing what is going to work with what or what I'm called to do. So I do what I feel inclined to do. You guys have to practice. And often, even if it's, you know, if you're a painter and you don't have a lot of time, you need to at least take 10 minutes a day to paint or to draw and write down ideas. The more you pursue your interests, Gemini, the more ideas and inventions and plans will come to your mind and it'll get faster. Okay. Much faster. So you have to practice. Practice makes better. Okay. And you can always perfect your craft or your skills and abilities with more training, with more techniques and time. Okay. All right. So I want to read from the flowers. Um, I wonder if I should clarify. Yeah, let me take the cards out first, and then I'm going to clarify. So, of course, everything been prayed on and meditate on. This is my spirituality messages deck, and I actually do have um, the title Life Purpose in here. There's five titles in here, and that's one of them. So I'm going to clarify each card um, with my deck, and then I'm going to clarify it with the Silver Moon Oracle card deck. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do. To the Zodiac sign of Gemini. And I'm using these clarifiers today, which I, people know I don't do. But I love it and it feels right. Do what feels right. For flowers, spirit, for flowers, clarify. Flowers. Okay. Flowers. There we go. Teaching. For teaching. And if some of you need to start your own programs or daycares, learning centers. There's always going to be a need for teachers with special needs. Tutors are always going to be needed. Assistance, teaching assistance and aids will always be helpful. Online, in person, on the phone, through conferences, web conferences, and that's for practice. Okay. All right. Let's read. Oh, one more. We got to clarify the silver moon. or We got to use the silver moon orca card deck to clarify. Let's clarify um, all of these. We're going to start with flowers. Clarify flowers, flowers, flowers. Teaching, teaching, teaching. Trust. And practice. And somebody may be coming to help you. On your path God can send perfect strangers people that you know listen do what you feel is best and always use your own discernment make your own decisions based on what you feel is best but listen to people at least hear them out one word can change your life one sentence of advice can and will likely change your life if you pay attention okay flowers so I'm going to read from the book first, and then I'm going to clarify for each card, okay? All right, Gemini, flowers you have here. This card signifies your special connection to flowers, whose fragrance, color, and beauty provide healing blessings as you grow, admire, photograph, and work with blossoms. So, too, does your connection with the divine blossom. Your affinity for flowers is just the beginning. And spending time among them will help every part of your life bloom. You have literally work. I'm sorry, you have. You may literally work with flowers. For example, as a gardener, a florist, a flower essence healer. Or it may be that spending personal time with these lovely features of the natural world sparks your creative ideas about a new career path. So whether your relationship with flowers is destined to become a career or an avocation, Spend time with them today. Walk through a flower shop and notice which color bloom you're drawn to. This flower holds healing properties that you need right now. If possible, take it home and spend time absorbing its color and fragrance. Trust the flower's wisdom and power to help you up on your life purpose pathway. Flowers are beautiful and they should make you smile when you see them. 
they do for me. I love to see things grow. You know what I mean? It's like seeing if you plant a seed or a flower or sunflower or something and you see it grow, it's it's really cool. You know, as it starts off from this little seed at the ground and the dirt and the mud and you know, you let it have its sunshine and air and some water every day or as often as needed and you know, fertilizer or whatever you need to help it grow and then you just see it sprout out into something amazing and beautiful. Okay. Okay, so from my spirituality messages deck you have the title count your blessings it says take inventory use what you have clean up donate trash and recycle the rest hidden treasures you know i think flowers are hidden treasures for you they do have healing properties you know it comes from the ground you know spirit is showing you that we all started as a seed we all started as something so precious and we grew up we grew into something amazing Count your blessings. Be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for the birds, the trees, the flowers, the bees, everything. Okay. Some of you may have flowers around the house or may have seeds hidden in a drawer or something like that. Take them out and start to plant them. You know, it doesn't take much work, but a little effort every day. Um, it goes a long way and you'll see the fruits of your labor. So you need to grow something in you and be thankful for everything that you have. I'm hearing flower power. Whatever that means, but I love the feel of it. Like flowers will be a blessing in your life, okay? Whether it's roses, dandelions, whatever type you like. Okay. And I oh I didn't even show you guys the card. This one. Okay. Alright, also clarifying flowers. You guys have waning moon. It says forgive, let go, and peace. I think flowers is going to bring you peace and tranquility. Just smelling them, looking at them, and just taking a moment to breathe and just appreciate the beauty of life. You know, when I look at the sky and I look at nature, it's to me, God painting life. That's how I see it. And we need to appreciate every part of life. When the sky turns orange or blue or purple, it's gorgeous. When we look at the ocean and the waters and the greens and the deep blues and the shallow blues and just everything, the mountains and how the life how life and the world looks at night, in the daytime, in the evening. There's somebody you need to forgive. Somebody could be bringing you flowers. You may be extending an olive branch by taking somebody else some flowers or roses. You're letting go. You want to make peace with somebody or somebody could be coming in to make peace with you. Take it how it resonates. Or it could be a peace offering. It may be um, somebody sick and uh, you take them some flowers to help them heal and feel better and just have something nice and pretty to look at. That's very nice. Okay, so let's move on to teaching. Your card reads as follows. Gemini, it says, you have a gift with children because it's part of your life purpose to help and support them. Young people respond to your genuine nature and they recognize your inner child, which helps you relate to and understand them. More than ever before, children need trustworthy and loving adults to act as shepherds and teachers. I want to interject and just say teachers are healers as well. You know, kids will confide in you and tell you their deepest truths and their struggles, what they're going through. Some of them have, you know, I remember when I was teaching, some of them would just stop and break down crying, but they always tell me, I remember the advice. I remember what you said and it uplifted them. It turned those tears into happy faces, inspire them to be the greatest them. Let them know that they are enough and that they're special and that they're wonderful and that everybody has gifts and everybody's talented and everybody has something incredible and amazing to offer to this world. Let them know that they matter every day. And um, you're drawn to this card because you will be doing some teaching work. Even if you don't think you are, even if you're on the job and you are training the next employee or coworker, okay? It says most likely your teaching or healing work with children will encompass some aspect of spirituality. Amen. Teachers definitely are connected to spirit. Because I don't know a teacher who don't love what they do or have loved it. You know, at some point to be a doctor or teacher and to be good at what you do, it starts with loving it and having a passion for it. And being connected to spirit. This is doing God's work. We're all here to do that. For instance, you may incorporate music or personal growth lessons into a traditional classroom. Or you may teach important skills in other ways. For example, in your role as a sports coach, music instructor, babysitter, or art therapist, or through charity work, or running a youth center, 
In these ways, you help children keep their spiritual gifts alive. Amen. And awaken new interests. If you ask the angels to guide you to the best avenues that will allow you to teach, reach out and teach young people. They will happily help with this very important life purpose. And you know what? Being a teacher, I'm telling you right now, you will inspire other people, children, adults, middle school, high school, doesn't matter. You will inspire others, especially children, to teach and help and encourage each other. School is not always easy. We all know about bullying. We all know about people taunting people and the struggles when you don't understand something or when you get left behind or you feel left behind or you don't understand something and other people do or when your friends are making fun of you. We understand that. Teachers are healers. We give advice because it comes from the heart. It comes from love. It comes from experience. Love what you do. It will show. And God bless everybody for being a teacher. You know, especially being a parent, you are your children's number one role model and teacher and superhero. You're teaching them by what you do, how you do it. And you're instilling them, you're instilling in them core values and life lessons, how to behave, to use manners, to be respectful. Okay. So from my spirituality messages deck, you have count your blessings. It says, show gratitude and appreciation to God. Thank God for everything. Thank God for your teaching ability. Thank God for all the teachers that have helped you in your life. Everybody can probably remember, you know, class clowns, people laughing, people, you know, even those kids have made, they may have become comedians, you know, maybe somebody taught them that they have a funny bone and that they need to express themselves as comedic actors or as um, comedians. Anyways, um, think back on a teacher that inspired you or helped you, even if this person inspired you because they didn't believe in you and think about Anybody who put you down and told you you wouldn't make it, you wouldn't amount to anything. I hear so many singers or rappers say that people told them that they couldn't do it. How horrible. And when I find out that teachers did this, you know, I know people personally where teachers put them down. Those people ended up as doctors, nurses, lawyers, uh, respectful people in society. Don't let anybody bring you down. That is a low vibrational person. And no teacher should be putting anybody down. To be honest and truthful is one thing, but everybody has a gift. We all can do amazing things because we're blessed to be here to do it. God gave us that. And nobody can take that away from us. When God gives you something, it's yours. And it's yours for life. Show gratitude and thank God for anybody who was good or influential. Anybody who taught you something. Taught you to be ambitious. Taught you to be a goal setter, trend setter, go getter. Think back and thank them. And if you still know them, send them a thank you card. Send them some flowers. Or pray for them and their family, energetically and spiritually. You guys also have um, Moon Sec. This is from the Silver Moon Oracle Card deck. It says complete ending and letting go or let go. So you're about to start something new. You may be letting go a past job or career option to go teach or to do something new. Whatever you're inspired to do, Spirit wants you to let go of fear. Let go of feeling that you can't do it or you can't achieve it because yes, you can Achieve anything you put your mind to and the effort behind it. Push yourself and go for it. Let yourself be free to, to soar, to fly, to travel, to move, to go on, to go forward, to be your best self. Okay? You also have the word trust, a part of your life, purpose, and career. You drew this card as validation of what you already knew. That your life's work involves traveling. I was just talking about that. You may be called to be of service in faraway places. Oh, I'm reading travel. Some of you will be traveling. I need to be reading trust. I'm reading the wrong one. But I know travel came up. Thank you, God. So that was a message for whoever needed it. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Here we go. Trust. The angel sent you this card as validation that your feelings are trustworthy guides as you aspire to make healthy life changes. Your dreams and desires are clues to your life purpose as your soul calls out to you through the language of feelings. If you're discontent in any situation, trust these feelings. If you're excited about the prospect, for example, of returning back to school or opening your own business, trust these feelings. Yes, you can do it. Do the research. Look for helpers. Ask questions. Ask for experts and their opinions and their guidance and their rules and what did they follow? What techniques did they use? What advice can they give? What tips can they offer? Trust 
your feelings overall and get it done. Go for it. If your gut is warning you about a certain person in your life, trust these feelings. That's your intuition telling you. If you're dreaming people and God is showing you something that's going on, they're either coming back into your life, thinking of you energetically, or there's a lesson here you still need to learn from this person. The first step is to notice your feelings. You do so by creating some quiet time alone where you can talk with yourself. Ask yourself questions like, what do I really want? What do you really want, Gemini? And what is best for your life purpose? And then notice the physical and emotional feelings that come in this response. Your feelings are the physical embodiment of heaven's guidance for you. Trust their validity, even if you don't understand them or feel certain about what they mean. Continue to ask God for clarity and guidance. Talk to your angels. Heaven's guidance is the best guidance. It's coming from the Lord, our creator. You guys have the life purpose topic from my deck. The spirituality messages deck It reads as follows. It says experiment. It's time for you to try something new. Look at the road here. It's golden. It's going to be beautiful. Believe in it. Believe in it. Believing in it is the start. But also believe in yourself. You have to put actions behind your beliefs and your thoughts. It's not just going to get done and come to you. You have to get up and put the work in and the effort and the time and go to it and chase it. Go after it. And don't stop till you get there. From the Silver Moon Oracle card deck, you have Cold Moon, Dark Time, Endure, Long Wait. A lot of you have waited patiently to hear about your calling and life purpose. It's here now. You've endured a lot. You've experienced a lot. Everything you went through was to get you to be stronger. These were tests and trials and tribulations so that you can be triumphant, so that you can be confident and successful and open-minded. It is time to take the leap of faith out of the dark into the light. You can do it because you are powerful. You will be prosperous. You are smart and skillful, and it's time to apply it. If something comes to you, like I said, even if you're not... Even if you don't have the experience or the background or the skill sets in that area, you can always go get it. But if God ordains you to do something, that's what it is. That's the gift and talents that you have. When you see a child who is exceptional at something, may it be a gymnast or a writer or an artist, or this person could actually do hair and be a cosmetologist, or they're the best at it. It's because from another life, they've been doing it. They have perfected their skills lifetime after lifetime another reason is because if god gives you something you got it if he ordains you to be the best in the world the best rock star pop star musician the best pianist if he bless you to be, be the best teacher or the best socialite whatever it is that you are guided to do if god ordained you to do it it doesn't matter if you have a degree or not in it it doesn't matter if you have education or an experience and people say, well, you don't have experience. Well, you don't need experience when God gave you the keys. You just need the right door. And if you keep knocking and you use those keys correctly, a door will open. It fits somewhere. Find it. And listen to your guides so that you can be guided to it. Okay. And the fourth card here is practice. This is the last one. I can't stress it enough. Practice make better. I never like the saying practice make perfect. Only God is perfect. But we can get things to a point where we really love it. But remember, anything can be revised. Anything can be changed. And you may love it even more. The answer to your question about how to better your career involves focusing your time and attention on a skill that's related to your heart's true interests and passions. Perhaps it's a hobby that you dream of, you know, turning into an occupation. This is possible if you will devote the time and energy to polishing your skills in that area. Visualize yourself enjoying the benefits of being successful in this endeavor. I'm here. You will enjoy the fruits of your labor. Put the work in. It can be prosperous and financially abundant. Expect the best and then do the necessary work to make this a reality. A little bit of time devoted each day to practicing will become a positive habit, yielding positive results. You'll soon notice your skills improving 
and your level of enjoyment increasing. Your body will intuitively learn how to automatically incorporate what you've practiced, and you'll find new inspiration as you move from an act of struggle to one of freedom and joy. Keep practicing and never stop and never give up. Always keep going. Be the change that you want to see. Implement practice and you will see growth and change. Implement helpers and teachers and guides. You'll further develop your skills. Education helps a lot. And you can educate yourself by doing your own research. Conduct your own research online. Get some books. It's time It's time to hit up at the library if you can. Or go online and order some books. You know, there's eBay, Amazon. We know the drill, right? So from my deck, you have alleviate worry, stress, and fear. It says stay hopeful. Optimism and positive thinking. Keep your vibration high. Good energy, motivation, and enthusiasm. This is what it takes to get there. Have faith. Know that God will lead and light the way for you. He's always going to be there for you. Don't just believe in yourself. Know that you can do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And you guys have half moon. Aspirations, progress, and effort. You will get there. All in divine timing. God sees who is actually putting actions into practice. You have to be action mindful. This is beautiful. I love it. This energy is super. It's amazing. It's powerful. You are powerful. You are awesome. Be excited about life. Be excited about your passions and career and life purpose. You have a beautiful purpose, Gemini. Some of you have many, but we all have a purpose. And we're all here to serve God and serve our purpose. Nothing to it but to do it. Get to it. Okay, Gemini, this has been your life purpose a career reading for the mid-month of June, year 2021. I hope the messages in this reading resonates with all of you or as many of you as possible. I'm sending you all so much amazing love, light, blessings, joy, abundance, blissfulness, happiness. Stay inspired. You can achieve beyond greatness. You're ready. Be willing. Go for it. Stay ambitious. And know that you are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you are interested, there is an Oracle Extended Reading. Get in where you fit in. It's just $3.43. God bless you. And thank you so much for you guys helping me build my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Love and light. Bye, Gemini.